Space is hard and a lot of things need to go right, including the weather for a successful rocket launch. There's a team of meteorologists that actually monitor every single launch from the Space Coast for weather conditions ranging from extreme temperatures to lightning. The chief of NASA's Exploration Mission Planning Office explains some of these impacts. Things like high winds. You can't have a really high wind because, you know, the rocket's taking off next to the tower that was used to fill it with the fuel. So you can't have a wind that's going to push it right into the tower, things like that. We need no lightning because you're, it's, it's really a giant fuel tank. And on that note of lightning, one of the last times we went to the moon during Apollo 12, the rocket was actually hit by lightning twice, about 30 seconds after takeoff, nearly forcing the crew to abort the mission. That's why today we do have these rules in place. If there's any lightning in the area about 30 minutes prior to the launch, within 10 miles of the launch site, or if there's even any clouds capable of producing lightning in the area, the launch will be postponed. You know, you need generally okay weather so that we can launch out into the systems and not risk any of the vehicle design in the process. In fact, there are multiple pages of weather restrictions. That's what I've been holding in my hand here. If you're curious, check out firstcoastnews.com. I'm going to link to these restrictions so you can check in on them yourself. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.